Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Anime Over Analyst here, and today I'm going to be reacting to Sailor Your Love's Mikasa and Eren rap called... Actually, it's a song called Lose You, featuring Golden EMP. So on Twitter, she said this is going to be a terror jerker, so I made sure not to wear contacts today, and I got my waterworks all ready to go. Just going to quickly do a quick shout out to the crew. We got thumbnail art by Shoto Todoroki. Nice. And the video was created by Ninithi. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, and mix and mastered by Sincerely Gustavo. I see that. Awesome. Yeah. Fantastic thumbnail there, Shoto. Fantastic. Let's just jump into this, shall we? Interesting. We're getting kind of like an ethereal feel here a little bit. Okay, so quick warning, this is going to be manga spoilers for like the rest of the Attack on Titan. If you have not seen Attack on Titan, or if you haven't read all like the last chapter of Attack on Titan, I suggest you click out of the video, although I'm assuming you've already seen this video coming from Sailor, so what am I even saying? Anyways... So, I love how she's going into the mind of Mikasa, because literally up until the very end, Mikasa's watching Eren pretty much degrade from our protagonist into the main antagonist of the series. He goes completely bonkers and kills like 70% of the planet. And I love just how Sailor's portraying just the sadness in Mikasa's voice as she's just watching you know, Aaron descend into madness. And I love the, like, the uh, ethereal kind of, like, background notes um, just kind of really showcasing that pain. And that, I guess that there's also a little bit of frustration there as she's watching Aaron, like, degress. So, liking, just liking the feel of this song. Ooh, that was a good just had to sit there and just kind of soak that up there. I see what you see, so what happens next? Because at one point, Aaron does... He pretty much shows... I think he shows everyone. He especially shows Armin and Mikasa, kind of just like his past, and kind of like the, the whole Titan fiasco. So, yeah. I can I love it because it's really is just Mikasa trying to save Aaron before Aaron does the stupid. Which if y'all read the ending, he would you call it stupid? I don't know. I think that's still kind of up in the air. Props to the video editor. This is an amazing video, mostly since taking clips from the last season. Ah, uh, once again, in, ref in reference to how Aaron went and killed 70% of the population, he literally took out a town. Um, he, he convinced, he managed to 
pretty much force all the Eldians to commit genocide kind of early on this season. Um, I I don't know if it's genocide, but it it might be considered genocide. Basically, Armin created the Colossal Titan and destroyed that entire town. And that, that wrecks Armin's mentality. And yeah, Mikasa's like, dude, what's going on? And Aaron's just like, Oh, wow. You've done. I just might have to lose you. This world is a garden. Move up past the side wall where my heart is. Last the test of time, never broken promise. For a second, I thought this was Connor Quest. I'm not going to lie. Just kind of how he just kind of came on and just put that feeling and emotion into the lyrics, you know, like how Conquest can do it sometimes. And I was just like, holy crap. Holy crap, I'm excited. There was a line in the very beginning, it was, uh, this world is a garden, move like pesticide. Oh, I love that, because pesticide is, you know, the chemical that kills off bugs and stuff. So he's like, I'm gonna kill off all this vermin. I've been out scouting these cowards while you dream. Oh, so you so you sleep. Wow, that's a bar. I I love that. Because, you know, part of it is that he's part of the Scout Corps. Um that that's the whole, that's where they are. So I there's a reference to that. But it's also the fact that Aaron believes in freedom. And you know, he views people who kind of let live, you know, wanting to be boxed in as kind of like cowards. Um, he even stated it in like the first season, you know, oh, we're all sheep like to the to like the Titans. So. Yeah, I like that. When these cowards see you see true beams of light, never open my eyes. And will we ever be free if we leave paradise? I doubt it. I will skin when I'm cleaning them out. I scar them with colossal when I'm walking around. Like arm and never foot that I'd be bringing down. But I don't really care if the world burns. So what's happening? Oh, I don't care if the world burns. That's literally... Aaron's mentality at the at the end of the entire manga is like, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, and I love I just love the background vocals of uh, Sailor's background vocals as he's saying this, because it's almost like it's Mikasa trying to get into Aaron's head. And he's just he's all he became very cold. Very calm and collected in this last season. You can really see it here. With just kind of that slight tinge of pain as well. Because he also, he sees like the history of the Titans, like I said, with Emir. And how, you know, Emir was kind of brutalized. And how Titans were brutalized. And how the Eldians in general were persecuted. And yeah, he's just always burdened by like never feeling free and trying to seek the freedom. So yeah, now I'm just saying words. <laughs> so what happens Getting like a tone shift here? Are, are we getting darker? Oh, that's 
so good. Oh, that's so good. I love this back and forth. I got to hear this again. I've got to hear that again because it's, I'm loving this conversation here. It's it's so amazing. You're not the person I once knew. Maybe you didn't know me well enough. Saying wow. Is hard to do. I wish you did. I wish you did. Oh. But I know what I've got to do. What can you do? So what happens <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. I love that. Just that whole conversation of Aaron being like, I'm, tr he's trying to distance himself from Mikasa. He literally does, literally up to that final chapter where he finally admits to Armin he doesn't want to die. And... Then he's like, I still got to go through with this plan. I still got to do it. I still got to do it. And so he wipes Armin's memory of that whole conversation. And then the genocide proceeds. So I love that because we it's Mikasa really struggling with part of the fact of also being like, I don't know if it was confirmed. I don't remember if it was confirmed or not uh, when uh, Aaron said that as an Ackerman, she's forced to protect him. That, that, I don't know if that was really explained very much, but I've, I've also noticed a hint of that in those lines, too. So I, I want to just rewind that one more time. Because that this this whole thing is so good. Goodbye is hard to do. I wish you did, I wish you did. But I know the that I wish you did, I wish you did. That could be an awesome reference. What can you do? That whole reference of you are a slave. He, I think he even calls Mikasa a slave because he thinks that she's forced to protect him all the time. Part of, part of the reason why he really does try to distance himself from her. And so I, the, that line can mean so many things on so many levels. What can you do? You know, can you stop me? You know, are you actually powerless or can you break free of this curse? And then Mikasa's like, actually, if I remember correctly, Mikasa breaks free of the curse, but still decides to be with Eren. And she made it her choice to protect Eren. I think that's how she came about it. Oh, I love that. I love that. So good. Oh, that last night. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I took my contacts out. I'm so glad I took my contacts out because my eyes are watering up. So. Just the dynamic between the two. That was so good. That was so good. It was like Sailor took everything from her last song with uh, Miliotis and uh, Elizabeth, and then just intensified it tenfold. Wow. That might be also why I'm getting, got Connor Quest vibes. Like, I, I've got, I've almost had the same vibes from this song as that last song, but just so much more intense, so much more layers to it, and so much more emotion to it. So good. Just gonna quickly just say such a powerful piece of work here. You did such an amazing job bringing the emotion, the tumbling emotions. <laughs> 
and these characters. All right. Yes, I know it's that awkward part where I type a comment and nobody cares, but I do not care. Hence why I still do it while recording. Anyways, I'm the Anime Over Analyst, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.